In this location, the forward part of the fuselage is joined to the wing and the aft fuselage section. and the airplane is lowered to the ground for the first time. Now it can be rolled forward to the next workstation. and testing begins. The cargo compartment is lined. Air conditioning equipment goes in. And support structure for interior panels. And cockpit panels are installed before the airplane is moved to another building. Here, the airplane will take on a look familiar to passengers around the world. Dividers, carpet, seat. While these passenger cabin details are being handcrafted, the control cabin panels are being adjusted. Cables are checked. Landing gear is cycled. and flaps are tested to make certain their movement is coordinated with the proper control position. Specifications are first met independently and then as an integrated system. All functional tests must pass rigid standards. last item the airplane is inspected and accepted by the customer all that remains is to paint on the customer's colors but even without them this is an airplane that would be recognized at any of the free world's airports. Between rollout and first flight, all the vital pre-flight functional tests take place. Fuel system checks, electronic checks, auxiliary power units, engine trim and performance. Pre-flight testing and tuning. Implementation to delivery of this airplane took approximately 11 months. But the material for this part had to be ordered 30 months ago, long before the assembly process began. These were ordered 17 months ago. Yes, we at Boeing know how to put the pieces together. More than half the commercial jets in world service prove that fact. And is, in one way or another, different.